This is Marcel, a 21-year-old executive assistant. She's a Libra, and her favorite food is sushi. She claims she can do 20 push-ups, and her favorite tree, Christmas. And this is Dion, a 25-year-old account manager. He's a Capricorn who loves ice skating. He's afraid of lions, and his favorite baby name, Baby. Now, these two singles think they're going to a love seminar, but they're about to be hoodwinked because I put hidden cameras everywhere. And this love seminar is full of my actors. So pay close attention to every detail, and you can play the game along with them. Let's introduce the man of the hour, Mr. Derek Petro. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. How you doing? I'm Derek Petro. Of course, that's my book. How you doing? It's a guide to meeting love head on. Jafandi, why don't you go ahead and hand out some ice to everybody? This is an exercise we do in all the seminars. Everybody take a piece of the ice out and put it in your mouth. Now, I want to repeat our affirmation, okay? I'm the problem. But I'm also the answer. But I'm also the answer. Yeah. I need you to keep the ice there, you guys. Do you want to know why? Because it's hard to talk with a mouthful of ice, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's cold. It's hard to love with a mouthful of ice. OK? Think about that. So you know what else ice teaches us? To be cool. If you're not cool, people aren't going to think you're cool. And if people don't think you're cool, then you're really not cool. OK? <laughs> and the same with love. I want to give you guys an example. Come on up, Mr. Cool. Let's give him a hand. Welcome him. Anybody wondering what cool is, this guy's got it, right? Check him out. Before I read his book, I was Urkel. I was the uncool black guy. Yeah. And then you told me about the fedora, the skinny jeans. Can I tell you, I've never worn a fedora. I don't look good in hats. Let it out. Thank you so much. Mm. You, so mm. you know how you embrace love? You gotta embrace reality first. Reality is right there. And I need you to embrace it. Wrap your arms around it. There you go. Just squeeze that love right into that reality. Now say, I love you, love. I love, I love you, love. love you, love. Yeah, say it a little bit harder. I love you, love. 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 I'm gonna take you, love. I'm gonna, gonna you, throw you on the bed, love. Throw you on the bed, love. I'm gonna hurt you, love. Speak that love, spank it. Good, that's it. All right, everybody open up your eyes and release that reality, okay? We got a hold of it. You guys feel it? That's good. I want you to encourage the person next to you. Tell them, good job, good job. Yeah. Let's talk about trusting people. Now, we're all individuals. We all do our own thing. But if somebody doesn't accept you for who you are, what do you do? Go ahead, Summer. You change. That's right. You change who you are. OK? You get it? Well, I have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Change who you are as a person. Does that not make sense? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I got a way to show you this. Why don't you two stand up for me? Take out a piece of ice, and I want you to hold it in your hand. It's going to start to hurt after about 10 seconds, OK? But you got to make it through that. You can't find love if you're not willing to take a little pain. Mm -hmm. Love is pain. Give me a second, Nate. Give me a second. I need you to think about everything in love that's going on that's gone yeah. on in your life. OK, hold on, guys. Oh. Nate, I told you to wait in the car. But it's been two and a half hours. My PSP is dead. I'm Look, bored. Yeah, I get it. I told you to charge that thing, OK? Why didn't you charge it? I did. I did. I... Do you want to go to that skate camp? Is skate camp important to you? Yeah, but. OK, this is how daddy pays for it. skate camp, OK? I'm hungry. OK, well, you know where I keep money in the car. Just go to the burrito place across the street. I don't like burritos. Then go to the Chinese place across the street. I don't like Chinese. Go, go. I love you, son. Don't talk to strangers. Uh, whatever. OK, so what I just had to do there was I had to embrace reality. Sometimes love's mistakes walk in the room. <laughs> but I embrace it. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> so what did I do? You embraced. You got to believe. Everybody in the front row, why don't you guys take off your shoes? The theme wow. here today is about making the steps, right? About putting one foot in front of the other. Love is in your heart. Love is in your head. But how do you find love? Feet. What are you going to use to get here? Feet. That's right. So the front row, use your feet to get up here. Now, Summer, I know you've been through this before, so you know this drill. Yeah. We walk across the ice. This is our journey to love, OK? Summer, go ahead, take my hand. I'm going to take you with me, OK? Let's encourage your people. Come on, you're going to find love. You're doing it. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Walk with me. There you go. Are you feeling the cold? You got it. It's a quick journey. Welcome love. I want you to welcome it. Be open to it. Be open to it. There you go. Do you feel cool? There you go. There you go. Yeah! 
Dion. Yes, sir. Come in. Yes, sir. Take my hand. Take your hand. Are you ready for cold love? I'm ready for it. All right. All right. Take it with me. Come on now. Let's encourage. There you go. There you go. Take, there you go. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. Embrace it, Dion. Embrace it. You made it to love. Yeah. Yeah. You got that. Dion, you want to do it again? Oh, I got it. You got it? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Uh, how about you? Here's the thing. I'm not feeling your real commitment here to the process. Did you not feel it when you got to the other no, side? I, I felt it. it you hurt. did. It hurt? Because love's supposed to hurt. Love does hurt. To get to the pleasure, you gotta have a little pain. Dad, a guy took my money. Nate, I gave you a 20. No, Dad, seriously, a guy took my money. What do you want me to do? These people are here for help from Daddy. These people? Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you two guys a question? I don't have any money. You're saying we gotta go, Wayne. Do the reveal. Go, guys, go, go. Let's go, come on, come on. Do you like game shows? Yes. Marcel and Dion, I am so delighted <laughs> that you like game shows because you're on one. I'm Wayne Martindale, and you're contestants on the new hidden camera game show, Instant Recall. When we come back, we're going to test Marcel's and Dion's recall right here on this set. Stick around, we'll be back in a wink. Welcome back to Instant Recall. Let's meet our next contestant. Meet Daniel. He's 22 years old and a student. Daniel's favorite food is Thai. He dreams of being a pro surfer, prefers paper to plastic, and claims his special talent is mental strength. Daniel thinks he's accompanying his girlfriend to a bridesmaid fitting. What he doesn't know is I've rigged this store and have hidden cameras everywhere. And everybody he's about to meet is one of my actors. Now again, pay close attention to every detail and test your recall as well. How can I help you? I'm here for fitting for Courtney. Oh, Courtney, right. Yeah. And you are? I'm Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you. Oh, I don't speak it. That's good, because I actually don't know what I just said. <laughs> anyway, your friend Courtney is upstairs getting her nails done at okay. the salon. If you mm -hmm. want to join her, and then if I can keep Daniel here for a second, because we have another gentleman coming okay, for the same sure. wedding party. Yeah. So, Dad, if you just want to have a seat, that'd be great. Okay. Do you want some tea? I have raspberry. Blueberry, chamomile, Ooh. peppermint, and green. Are people like green tea? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My mom chose it all the time. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go with the green tea then. OK. Yeah. Hey, can somebody zip me up? Yeah, yeah, can you help with that? Sure. Uh, would you? Hi. Yeah, it's not a problem. Oh, much better. Thanks. What do you think? Uh, it, it looks good. Yeah, I like the flowers. I'm not liking these flowers at all. Oh, you don't like the flowers? Don't you think they hide the girls? Um, you know. I mean, you can't really. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, I have a rocking body, and you can't even tell in this dress at all. I, I think that's a nice dress. <gasps> that looks perfect on you. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Don't you love her? The dress is nice. I like the dress. I mean, just look at how this forms through her body. No, oh, yeah, the dress is nice. You think she's hot, right? <clears throat> I, I per personally think, like, if you feel good, like, what you're wearing, then, yeah, it kind of feels mm. good. I, I just don't feel good about wearing it. Let's go into the dressing room. I can help you a little bit. I'll be right back. Baby. OK, thank you for the two. Okay. <sighs> I guess this looks OK. I'm not really sure. What do you think? Oh, um, I like it. It looks good. I like the colors. It looks like it's a 60-year-old woman, be honest. I, I don't think so. Really? No. My mom's about 60, and she doesn't wear things like that. Uh, does it make my look big? Um. Be honest with me. No, no, no. What if I was dancing? No. My God, it's perfect. You look dead sexy. I mean, don't you think this totally flatters her figure? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. 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 Really brings out your hair, too, right? You seem yes. like you're not totally convinced. No, no, I like it. You know, let me take you into the back and see what we can do with this, all right? Oh. I'm sorry, one minute. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, I have a fitting today for, uh, for a wedding. Courtney. Yes. OK, OK, I have your outfit right here. Are you in this? Oh, yeah, you're here for Courtney's? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, cool. Great, thank you. Derek, are you ready? Uh, yeah, this, uh, it just feels a little short. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really... Love it. This is what everybody else is wearing? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, oh my gosh. just feels a little short is all. Wait, Boy, I you sure got the legs for him, huh? Yeah? Yeah, I guess it doesn't look too bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is this a theme wedding? It's a traditional Scottish wedding. Daniel, I have your outfit right oh. here. Why don't you just go ahead and put this on for me in that last fitting room right there? Oh, uh, I may not be able to make it for the wedding. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing one, man, so. Sometimes it needs alterations, so just try it on, yeah? yeah? Just call me if you need help. Yeah, once you get it on, it feels actually pretty good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, and I'm never. Good so, all the guys who go to wedding have to wear those? Just the bridesmaids' dates have to wear those. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. The top's kind of small. Yeah, mine's kind of small, too. Don't worry, that's what alterations are for. Can I just keep the shirt on right now? Uh, sure, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. Hey, Brandon, can you hold my stuff? That's pretty good. Yours is a little bit looser than mine. And has more length. Okay, can you guys stand next to each other? That's good, though, man. Oh, we have to paint, too. I just want to see how you guys work together. Oh, yeah. I love that. Dude, I think we're looking pretty tight, man. I mean, yours is a little bit longer than mine, but I think it looks pretty good. You might have to get it trimmed up a little bit. Yeah. I really don't know Scottish style, so I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Would you like a shorter skirt? Because I think you got the legs for it. I think I'm okay with this one. Huh. This one's fine. Kind of looks like a lumberjack because of the colors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So a little more manly. Okay, how would you like to have some traditional face paint? What type of warrior are you, Daniel? I always like kind of like Hawaiian looking. Right, because this is more of a Scottish theme with the big yeah. swords and the axes and all that. But did we have to do this for the wedding? Can or I ask you something? So Wing, tell me about one of your earliest memories in show business. Let's start there. I think meeting Elvis early on in his career. Again, Wink, with the Elvis thing? You're projecting, you really gotta let it go, or I can't help you. Reveal, guys, Ooh. reveal. Do the Time's reveal. Do you like game shows? Uh, I guess. Daniel, I'm glad you like game shows. I'll tell you why. You're on one. I'm Wink Martindale, and you're a contestant now on the new hidden camera game show, Instant Recall. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Don't run away from me, I'm not gonna hurt you. When we come back, we're going to test Daniel's recall right here on this set. Stick around. We'll be back in a week. You're awesome. Woo! And see, now you can win a lot of money. Can I go change? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'll admit the kilt did feel pretty good. It was breezy, you know, nice and open. And, you know, let the air in. So, yeah, I'll admit it. It felt pretty good. Don't touch that dial. I'm Wink Martindale, and this is Instant Recall. The game show designed to test your patience and then test your memory. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's simple. We take that set, all these actors, a boatload of cash, a few trucks full of gear, and invade America at will. You think it can happen to you? Think again. I'm Wink Martindale. That's how I roll. Come here. Come on, girl. I just said, come on, girl. I couldn't think of your name. <laughs> Meet Jackie, a 38-year-old business analyst from Paradise, Indiana. Her favorite food is tomatoes. She claims to know kung fu, and she, like, cringes when people say, like. Jackie thinks she's going to work at a busy nursery, but what she doesn't know is I'm about to spread some manure her way. You see, I've placed hidden cameras everywhere, and all the people who work at this nursery are plants. 
Now pay close attention to every detail, and you can play the game as well. What's your name again? Jackie. Jackie. What's that's yours right. again? My name is Michael. Michael. Okay. That's right. We have a, uh, a fern that we call Fernando here. Okay. I, like to, I like to name the plants. Okay. As you can see, some ficus trees here. We call them Fran. Um, over here, roses. George. Dan, this is Jackie. She's hey. going to be helping us out today. Dan, come forward. Hey. Dan will walk you through everything. All right? Okay. Real simple, easy job. Have fun. Thanks, Michael. All right. Let me show you our, uh, our prize plants back here as well. Now, nice. this is the present tree. It actually only blooms in February. Uh, so okay. February being the shortest month makes it very rare, very hard to come by, and actually very expensive. Wholesale, this tree's going for at least $5,000. And this one is especially important because of this pot. This is imported Grecian volcanic clay. This alone, $3,500. So big investment right here. Okay. Just brought it in. Um, Reggie. Uh, could you help uh, Jackie do some misting, just sort of uh, show around? All right. I'll come back uh, and talk to you guys in a couple minutes. OK, cool. Right. Cool. Thank you. How you doing? Hi. Good meeting you. Nice Welcome. Meet you. Welcome. If you see red or yellow on the leaves, mm -hmm. OK, that signifies restless plant syndrome, OK? So what I need is misting on Fernando, Fran, and George, OK? And if you get hot, you know, mist yourself, OK? <laughs> but make sure. You come Hi. in Hi. over top. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Chip. Hi. Chip? Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm Shannon, yeah. but you can call me Chip. They call it Chip. Everybody calls me Chip around here. Yeah, help her with that, help and her then with I'll, that? I'll okay. take care you of know, this. Get a little like Ben. Yeah. We got a whole technique. Going. No, it's good. It's like a good workout, you know? <laughs> hey, Chip? Yeah. Can you take care of this for me? Yeah, sure. Thank, thank you me. very much. Jackie, maybe you can help me with this. Um, Michael, he puts food around the plant, so in case like plant predators come, uh -huh. they'll go for this food instead of the plant. So makes sense. These are burgers. Just put them. <laughs> I know. Just put them into the rose bushes. Those and are the wrong apples are just these. You know, just put everything. You know? Okay. Thank you. I'm looking for some roses. You're never gonna believe what happened. I had a really big party last night and we trashed the whole garden, me and my boyfriend, and my husband's out of town. It just bottom line is if I don't fix this garden, he's gonna know something's up. Uh, do you want pink? They might have white, red. What is this? Um, they just asked me to put food in there. Oh my God, food, I'm so starving right now. Is it okay if I have some? Um, mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm just so hungry. I like drink all night, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if you can help me out with this, I have no idea how much they cost. You I'm know, sure it's reasonable. Well, price is really no object at this point for me. Um, how many do you need? Six or seven. Yeah. How long do they take to plant? Um, I don't know. This burger is really good. Do you know where this came from? No. Um, you want a bite? No, thank you. <laughs> really good, thank okay. you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the cashier I want six of these. Okay, yeah, you do that. And what's your name? Because I'm Jackie. Jackie? Jackie? I'll make sure you get commission. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Dude, was she like seriously eating a burger? Yeah. We bought those like four days ago. <laughs> oh, okay. She's hungry. Yeah. Hey. Hi. I'm looking for Michael from Melody Nursery. Um, I think he's in the, in the front you, there. You know, can I just get you to sign for this? This is his contact lenses. Here. What's I just said Michael from uh, Valley Eye Works to Michael at Melody Nursery. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Just, um, you know, keep missing and, and then I'll... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah! I know. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get her license plate. Stay here with Reggie. Try to put it back together. Oh my god! What happened? The lady who dropped this off. We gotta put this plant back together. Well, we gotta put it back together. The plant seems okay. The pot's from Greece. It's one of a kind. 
That's some serious damage. Yeah. Uh, you want some They're jerky? Right. <laughs> teriyaki. I'm good, thank right. you. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Is there something we can do for the plant right now? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> go, guys, go. go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Well, you know what? Hey, wait a minute. They're always rushing us. I'm not ready to go yet. I'm just not ready to go. I'm going to stand right here. Isn't today payday, Wink? I don't. It is? Let's go. Do you like game shows? Yeah. Jackie, I'm glad you like game shows because you are on one, my dear. <laughs> I'm Wink Martindale, and you're a contestant on the new hidden camera game show called Instant Recall. By the way, do you have an extra hamburger on you? I'm good. When we come back, we're going to test Jackie's recall right here on this set. Stick around. We'll be back in a wink. Hey! <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> when the delivery person broke the plant, Reggie was very upset. I tried to just help him see the bright side. <laughs> that the plant was going to live. Still to come on Instant Recall, our contestant thinks she's going to get a free tan. So we're going to get you set up in your bed if you'll just wait here for just a second. Okay. What she doesn't know is she's about to get burned. This is Tiffany. She's a 36-year-old branding specialist from Detroit, Michigan. Admits to having a bad temper claims to be very persuasive. And her favorite thing to do in bars, slap butts. Tiffany thinks she's going for a free pedicure at an upscale nail salon. But what she doesn't know is that at the Salon de Wink, there are hidden cameras everywhere. And everyone she's gonna meet is an actor. Now, pay close attention to every detail and you can play the game as well. Nicole, our nail and cuticle restoration, repair, and design specialist, is with a client right now, mm -hmm. but she'll be with you in a minute, okay? Okay, cool. Oh, while I'm at it, do you want some coffee? I'm just a coffee drinker. I love coffee. You can just do water. Water. Hey, Hi, how's Reggie. Going? What's happening? Hey, John, can I interest you in anything? I got some CDs. Some oranges, can I interest in anything? No, I got CDs. These are like Britney, Miley Cyrus, you know, Backstreet Boys and whatnot. Who still listens to Backstreet Boys? I mean, this is, you know, it's Encino, so white people, I guess. I'm just trying to help out my daughters, Monique and Uni, you know what I mean? I don't I interest you, a couple of oranges, like no. if I could say you like four for like a dollar. No, I don't need any oranges. You sure? You need some? You like some oranges? You know, I'm like, I normally would sell the whole bag for five dollars, but I can make a deal for you. Reggie? Huh? You can't have me bothering the customer. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, just trying to... You know what, I'll buy know. the oranges, okay? You can you buy some I, I will, I'll buy them. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, yeah, I'll, okay. Meet, you I'll meet you at the counter. All right, okay. thanks a lot. Um, do you have a dollar I could borrow? Hi, I'm Nicole. Tiffany. What kind of boost were you looking for today? What do you recommend? I think we should do invigorating. I think that's a really good one. <laughs> Everyone needs a little invigorating, right? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Here you go. Thank oh, you. I need a chicken soup. OK, one chicken soup. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get the boost, OK? Hi. Can I take a look at your feed? Sure. Okay. Why do you want to look at my feet? Looks like we got uh, level 3 dehydration. Phase two fungal, about a seven degree arch curvature. Do you have any problems when you walk? No. Mm -hmm. I do have a high arch, but. Yeah, it's seven degrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chet, you're really not supposed to talk to the customers. Oh, okay? right. Uh, I'm sorry about that. This is not chicken soup for the soul, but it's chicken soup for your feet. Just put your feet up here. Oh, I'm this tickling. Is good. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm just really tickling. Not a foot fetish kind of girl. No, it's <laughs> yeah. Do you feel the carrots though? Yes. Yeah. 
Are you okay? I'm okay. I just really want to say sorry okay. for last night. It was only that one time. It was just that one time. It was with my sister, Tina, okay? It was one time. I'm not like Tiger Woods. It was like one time. Do you know her? Have you been coming to her before? Why would you want me to tell her? Can you just tell her I was weak? Sounds like a likely story. I'm going to prove it to you, okay? I'm going to prove it to you, too. I can't believe you came into my work. Honey, do you need anything? I got... Vodka, bourbon, but gin, I have only had one bottle of gin left, so you can have that one. I'm okay. You, you want something for me? I got, I got plenty in here. No, I'm okay. Okay, I'm here if you need it. Okay. Okay, I'll be right here. <laughs> it's good to know. <clears throat> can you um, hold the scrub for just one second for me? Hold it? Yeah, uh -huh. just like that. Make sure we keep that. Okay. I'm going to take a look at your flesh. Oh, look. Shows? Yeah. Tiffany, I'm glad you like game shows because, baby, you are on one. No way. Yes, I'm Wink Martindale. <laughs> and you know what? You're on the new hidden camera game show, Instant Recall. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we're going to test Tiffany's recall right here on this set. Stick around. We'll be back in a wink. said, I'm going to prove to you guys that, you know, he was a good guy. He comes in and he pours what looks like milk on his head. I was looking, thinking, how's the milk have anything to do with the fact that you cheated with her sister? I had no way you would have taken him back if you just poured milk on his head. What's the point? Still to come on Instant Recall, our next contestant thinks she's won a session with a certified A-list trainer. You're really lucky to be working out with him. What she doesn't know is this trainer is certifiable. I want to hear yes. Yes. Louder. Yes. Are you ready to change your life? Yes. All right. 